My Baden townhouse, the end unit of a fourplex, sits on Baden golf course and across from Baden school playground. It's on a fairly busy street and a quiet side street. When I came here in 1994, there was nothing but weedy grass and a couple of shrubs. Since then, I've tried to create an English cottage garden, quite a job in this climate. But come with me and see what I've done. My first priority was to have a nice view of the golf course in the front and privacy in the back. We have knockout roses, liriope, Mexican heather, a mystery plant, I don't know what that is, hope someone can identify it, and salvia. And along the walkway, we have lavender, creeping phlox, and dianthus. Over here, we have an old chair that's turned into a planter since it's no longer suitable but the benches so we can sit there and have a quiet time in the garden. Over here on the other side, behind that bush, is a rain barrel. I have three rain barrels and everything in the garden is watered with rainwater. Certainly saves on the water bills. Under the tree, my lovely old maple tree, which is beautiful in the fall, I have two Adirondack chairs, and believe it or not, they're suitable still. They'll probably end up as planters. I can sit there and watch the golfers and criticize their swing, since I'm not a golfer myself. Let's wander on along here. We'll find my motif. My maiden name was Fox. This is Fox Cottage and Mr. Fox welcomes you as you come to the door. Let's take a walk down the side garden. Another chair turned into a planter. We have some hostas growing here under the shade of the Japanese maple. And down here, asleep in the wild thyme, is Bambi. Along here we have Creeping Jenny, Wild Thyme, Creeping Thyme, Lamb's Ear, Dianthus, Siberian Iris. And this is Columbine, which blooms very prettily in the spring. And another chair turned into a planter. Through the garden gate into the back garden, we have a little side garden here with Lamb's Ear, Ivy, little statuary, ivy climbing up the brick wall, and a shady place under the umbrella where we can sit, drink a cup of coffee, made a little bouquet of flowers from my garden and stuck them in a jam jar, and here we have Callie the garden cat, who is at the moment pretending to be sound asleep. We'll leave Callie for her nap. That's about her 10th one today. And wander down the rest of the garden in the back here. We have a little patio. And yet another chair with flowers in its lap. In the ivy bed. And behind that ivy is another water barrel. It's rather ugly, so we covered it up. And over here we have some flowers, some mint, oregano, nice place to sit and change out of my muddy shoes. This is the potting bench. Dramanda waiting to be planted in the garden. A little pot of herbs by the back door. Another water barrel, we didn't bother to hide that one. And Callie's scratching post, or what's left of it. Let's go through the trellis archway, 
up a few steps and into the back garden which as I said is right on the road so I needed to create privacy. I also got rid of my lawn, gave away the lawnmower and now have flower beds instead. Also now have quite a lot of weeding to do but that's okay. I like the flowers. Let's go explore down the garden path. There is a beautiful Cleome who volunteered and I hadn't got the heart to pull her up. And over here, a little patio, bird bath. Lovely place to sit here for a cup of coffee or tea and when the sun is over the yard arm, a glass of wine. You can sit here and admire my rockery which has different types of thyme some succulents, creeping jenny, and all backed by tall verbena, yarrow, more cleome, some coneflowers, and black-eyed Susans. Let's go walk through the garden path. Some more volunteers. We have little bird bar, little bird houses scattered around. And then here we have another little secret garden with a bistro table and two chairs. The ground cover is dianthus, thyme, and creeping phlox, and reseeded vinca, which comes back every year, blooms happily until frost without any attention from me whatsoever. A wonderful garden plant. I highly recommend it. Here is a little bicycle planter, just for fun. Let's go round the corner. Another look at the flowers. And here on my left we have my beautiful blue cone spruce, who never seems to stop growing. Paracantha along my neighbor's fence. Let's go down the walkway, see what we can find here. Salvia blooming in a pot. It will be underplanted with small leaf ivy pretty soon. And our millery. Lambs here. And a rabbit. And there you have my English cottage garden in the colonies.